let's see whether this is working or not. So I'm trying now to see if any one of you can hear me. So if, if you can, please write it into the chat. And apparently <laughs> uh, my window is all messed up now here with my OBS overlaying the DOS box. So this, this is going to be fun. Let's, let's try updating it, the DOS box. No, no, it doesn't work. Can't hear or can hear. Audible, this is great. This is really great. So, okay, <laughs> almost got it done. Now the next thing here is with the DOS box. So we, we have a nice, at, at least there's my mouse pointer in there. I can see, this is nice. So I'm trying now the window capture again. Window tile must match, match title, okay. For some reason, this isn't working too well and I don't know why. This is my first time that I've tried playing around with OBS and streaming, but uh, apparently uh, I thought this was a lot easier <laughs> than it turned out to be. So right now I'm frantically trying to get the DOSBox window updated because I have it here quite nicely. So any one of you have, have any experiences with OBS, tell me if I'm doing something wrong because apparently I'm doing something wrong, but hey, I can I can move this this window around, which is is helpful. Not 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 really. <laughs> uh, okay, I I try now to restart my DOS box, and then hopefully it should work. Okay, so DOS box is gone. Starting up DOS box. This is looking good, and now since we're here in DOS box. Uh, it's black again. Why? Why is it black again? Oh, probably because of my DOS box settings. Okay, I'm giving this one last try here, figuring out my DOS box configuration. My, uh, I'm assuming I'm, I'm drawing into the wrong context. Maybe it's something with OpenGL uh, or so. So sorry yeah, that you can't see, but I'm right now in my DOS box configuration and trying now to find out the, the, the renderer. So, scalar, aspect, scalar, normal, huh. Okay, this is the scalar, CPU cycles. Oh my God, this is off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> ah. But what, what I can see from, 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 the, from the chat, it's great that so many of you are still here and trying uh, 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 yeah, and, uh, watching me trying to figure out how to get something drawn on the stream. This is this is great, uh, but what I'm trying to do now is, huh? Maybe we should make this completely unusual. That maybe I try to share now my whole screen instead of just uh, the window here. Maybe maybe just this will work. Okay, exiting the DOS box now, and it's black. Okay, last attempt. Capture cursor, multi adapter compatibility. Uh, okay, okay. One, one last try now. Window capture off. Yes. Add display video capture. What is it? D display capture. There we go. There we go. Okay, apparently I've switched now to the whole display capture and it's still black. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're having such a uh, such a uh, bad time here <laughs> with my first stream. But but yeah, as Yirshi uh, said in in the chat, it almost looks like Rogue on DOS. So this is great. Okay, um last attempt now. Let's try it like this. Okay, I'm starting up my DOS box again. Does any one of you know uh, if there is a possibility to just select a region on my screen which I want OBS to be shown? 
Windows default lock screen. No, I don't want my Windows default lock screen to be shown. Oh, this is terrible. I really have to apologize for, for what's going on here. Okay, DOSBox window. It looks like there's the DOSBox window, but it doesn't look like it's updating. Does this work? Did any anything change here? Apparently not. Okay, so... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, nothing is working. This is this is really not fun. Okay, um, so you can see my mouse pointer, but nothing that updates in my DOS box here. So huh, I'm quite at a loss here at what I should try or could try to make this work here. The, uh, I, I'm just uh, looking at the OBS different <laughs> different input uh, 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 sources and I have your color source display game capture Let, let's let's go with game capture maybe maybe this works capture specific window let's capture the DOS box window does this work yes yes it works oh my god this was a close call so can you see this can you see this Yay! Okay, okay. Judging from, from, from the chat, what I can see that this is working. This is great. Ah, oh, okay. I'm so relieved. Okay, so let's get this stream started properly. Uh, again, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who tuned in to the screen. This is great. Never, never thought that so many people. It's like 15 people watching right now. Oh my god, this is half a school class. Uh, this is just amazing. So, yeah, b b before... <laughs> Before going on, I just want to apologize for all the inconveniences, but within a solid seven minutes, I managed to get it going, which is good. So, okay, I promise that we're playing some DOS games, and let's have a look at all those great games that I have here. But today, we're going to play the prototypical roguelike that is the original rogue. Uh, is it cut off here in the window I, as far as I can see? Let me try to resize it. Yes, this looks looks a bit better. Again, sorry for this terrible first experience. This is my first time trying to stream uh, uh, playing some games and I don't have a webcam. So this is <laughs> this is also a little bit unusual from, from what I've seen from the streamers. And, and I'm also forced to play this on my notebook because my big fat desktop PC really doesn't play well with microphones or anything so yeah okay so it's not cut off anymore you can hear me you can see what is going on so let's get started head first into the original rogue so I'm going uh, to explain a little bit what's going on in this game if you have never played any roguelikes because it might be a little bit off-putting because there is no sound there is no graphics, everything is just achieved by ASCII characters. And I thought this was the perfect game to start streaming with because uh, this will run on any notebook. I don't have to worry about game sound and we really are not concerned with any uh, FPS or, or drops or any kind of, of uh, yeah, terrible picture quality. Because if you can, can see this, there, uh, there won't be much more graphics. So, okay, the first rogue. Um, there were uh, some kind of CRPGs, computer role-playing games before, but uh, for Rogue, this one, I think this uh, the, the development started out on Unix machines or uh, uh, BSD Unix machines to be uh, precise sometime in the late 70s. So this one is ancient by today's software standards. And this one here was ported in 1983. So it's, it's the DOS port, which uh, has uh, some advantages over the original Unix port. That is, we can move with our uh, uh, cursor keys on the keyboard and we have uh, uh, not graphics, but at least some nice ASCII characters for frames and a nice nice color. So, so this is really state of the art of 1983. Well, well not quite. But let's start out and uh, Rogue is really great because you, you, it puts you straight into the, the action. So we can just uh, uh, set our Rogue's name. So uh, what should we call our Rogue? Get any, any suggestions? So I, I'll be uh, monitoring now with one eye the chat for any cool name suggestions while I finish explaining the background of the game. But there is not much more <laughs> to explain. 
it's just uh, in, in you you don't have really uh, uh, any way to to uh, distribute any kind of ability points on your character you don't have to set a class or a race it's really just set the name and and you're there okay i don't have anything there on the chat but it could also be that my streaming got cut off and i don't really know it that it happened so but let's let's ignore this and and hopefully that everyone is still there and i'm still connected and everything is working out so let's start with a great rogue's name that is just rogue okay and this is pretty much the game oh now finally okay the the, the chat is is catching up it's lead or unicorn oh i'm so sorry apparently <laughs> apparently the, the there's quite a lag there in 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 this in the in the chat but which is which is fine w i will get used to it so let's head back to rogue i'm still in the window yes oh i can still have here my little mouse pointer this is a tiny mouse pointer compared to to the game okay what do we see here we are this little smiley face and it just welcomed us hello rogue welcome to the dungeons of doom and i'm the smiley face um and there we are <laughs> being chased by an E. What the hell is an E? Then E is an emu. And when I now press the right cursor button, we bump into the emu. And uh, this means that we are in combat mode. So it says I barely missed the emu. So it's everything is turn based. So one step in this game is one turn basically. So when I bump into enemies or walls or items, it means that I interact with them. So I barely miss the emo. What happens? But the emo swings and hits me. Oh my god. And here I got something there on Twitter, which is nice. And now I have, uh, I have one hit point less. Uh, but by the way, those are all the stats. We're at level one. Those are hit points, the strengths uh, and, and the gold we have collected. Uh, there are no shops in the game. This is, like I said, this is very basic. But uh, the goal pretty much is score. So we are scored once we die and we will die. We're scored by how much gold we are amassed. And there's the armor. It's a little bit different than advanced dungeons and dragons armor. In this case, it means more is better. And look at this. We even got some experience points, which is great. So, okay, I've bumped into the emu and it hit me. So let's hit right again. And I hit the emu and I have defeated the emu. And this is pretty much the game. So we are here in the first room and you can see there are three doors. So let's decide to go up. Now I'm here in those little connecting uh, caverns or caves. So um, and it updates as I go along because I don't see much more than where I'm going. So oh look, there's another room. So let's step into the room. And there is a ye yellow asterisk, which means it's gold. So when I pick it up, patching 26 pieces of gold. This is great. We're off to a good start now and we haven't died once. By the way, uh, you can also interact here in the game. You can wield different weapons and, and uh, put on different armor. You can even find rings or magic staffs. So there is quite a lot uh, to do here. And the first time I played it, I had no idea how to do this, but uh, I will show you when we get there. Oh, look at this upside down uh, exclamation marks in blue. What could this be? Well, this is a potion, a magic potion. And when I pick it up, it says I have now the clear potion and I have now the magenta potion and some more money. What? do these potions do well we have to try uh, and drink them to find out so uh, but how we do we drink it like i said how do we interact with the world right now i can just move around well of course like in any good game when you hit the question mark character on your keyboard like so bam, <laughs> you got here a very helpful help screen and this is just a list of commands uh, I, I, I'm not boring uh, you by, by uh, s uh, just reading it from the screen, what's going on here, but you can just see there's a lot you can do. You can drop objects, uh, go up and down staircases, quaff potions, eat food. Yes, there is even food in the game here. And yeah, put on ring, put on armor, and even you even can look at your inventory or what you have learned about the world today. So let's continue here towards this oh an s this is a snake oh it has seen me so as you can see i can run from the snake and once i'm not in the room anymore i don't see it so you know what 
Now let's try and shoot an arrow at the snake. For one thing I could, right now I'm wielding a mace. When, the when you start the game you're wielding a mace. But when I want now to wield uh, uh, an arrow, uh, not an arrow, uh, when I want to wield my bow, I have to change the weapon, which takes two turns. And in two turns the snake is pretty close. So let's do it what I always do. Let's just throw the arrows. <laughs> this is how you, you fire arrows in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. So let's just throw the arrows and I'm using now here the minus key and it asks me which direction by which now I'm um, using the cursor keys and say right. Which object do you want to zap with? Oh, uh, sorry. I hit the minus on my, uh, uh, on my um, num block which is for zapping in case I have any kind of magic wands which I do not. So right now I, have, I can't zap it. So let's hit the plus key which this is throwing stuff. You can see, yeah, the interface is uh, clunky. Let's let's leave it at that. So I decide now into which direction I want to shoot and which object I want to throw. Um, if we happen to know the, the inventory slot, and the inventory is categorized by just letters from A towards Z. But if you don't know them by heart or if you've just picked up something, it says in parentheses, uh, you just found a clear potion C. Then C would be this inventory slot but let's have a look at the list and as you can see i have a mace this is my weapon in hand i have a short bow and i have 32 arrows at g so i'm just hitting g and the arrow misses the snake and look at this oh my god i dropped the arrow <laughs> uh, but and, and the snake advanced so let's try this again which direction and g and the arrow misses the snake okay the snake is closing in and and right now, okay, the last try. <laughs> okay, I shot now four arrows and none of them hit the target. Okay, so it's it's back to good old bumping into the snake and the snake has injured me, oh my God. And my hit points are dwindling nine out of 12. But, but the good thing is now that I've defeated the snake, I can pick up my arrows. If any object you throw at an enemy hits or connects, then this object is lost. So um, it's a good thing. Oh, there's another emote. Damn it. So it's a good thing if you just throw uh, arrows, which doesn't really hurt you. But if you uh, <laughs> by accident happen to throw your longsword at an enemy and it hits, well, gun is your longsword. So, OK, let's hit the emo again. So it's like it's just bumping into enemies uh, uh, under the hood. As far as I've read, there's some D&D uh, &D rules. It's it's like a, a twelve sided die is being cast, and there are some some simple arithmetics whether you hit or miss, but basically it's just Dungeons and Dragons extremely light under the hood. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, so I don't know much more <laughs> about it. Just uh, that this is the case, and it's it's influenced by this. What do we have here? This is a blinking green thing here, and. Uh, it is a staircase leading down. And if you've played Diablo, especially the first Diablo, um, you can see the influences uh, uh, designer David Breivik uh, drug, uh, took from, from roguelikes such as Rogue, because you have also a, a, a maze you have that's procedurally generated that, that you uncover. Oh, there's, what what's an age? I th is it in Hobbit? Oh, now I have a dagger, which doesn't mean much. Okay, so the, it's a hobgoblin, okay. So yeah, you can see the influences of games such as Diablo that harken back even to this little funny game here. It's very funny, isn't it? Okay, so uh, as you've noticed, I've, I've made a step down and the hobgoblin still uh, 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 went at me. This is because you uh, don't only can uh, uh, attack left, right, up and down, but also uh, in the diagonal directions. And this is a little bit clunky because you can't really hit left and up. But uh, if you uh, look at your keyboard and the pause one key, uh, the home key and the end key and the page up and page down keys, those uh, actually correspond to, to uh, uh, left up, right up and so on. So if I'm hitting now the page up key, I should hitting the hobgoblin, yes. And since I'm playing this on my notebook keyboard, <laughs> I had to cheat a little and look at the keyboard of, of my, of my a big uh, desktop machine just to get it right because of course on a laptop keyboard all those keys are just scattered about okay we're doing quite well here we've even 
that's I've defeated the hobgoblin and look at this I'm I think from my experience points I'm almost about to level up to to the next level and by the way if I'm holding down my keys and just uh, uh, walk back and forth my hit points recover this is uh, depends on which level I am experience level not not dungeon level uh, but this is very helpful so that you can sometimes just walk back and just w walk uh, back and forth and uh, yeah just regain some health so in a sense a rogue has <laughs> had this auto regenerating health system way way before call of duty so we all know who we can thank for okay and now there's an emu here in in this little cave so i'm just trying to hit it and it's like spacebar hitting up spacebar hitting up until one of us is dead and oh my god there's a snake okay see i'm now down to 8 or 14 hit points so this was good while i was running back and forth but oh look at this this is a bat you can s see that it's a bat because it's moving a little bit erratic there so let's let's try again uh, uh, throwing some arrows at it okay if i'm hitting now g Let's see, okay, G is still our arrows, because sometimes when I use up a potion and then the order of the items gets all scrambled around. So yeah, it's, 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 it's clunky. Okay, let's see if for one thing I can miss the freaking bet. No, I don't, so it's just trying to, <laughs> to get the damn bet. Oh my God, I took way too many hits. <laughs> just to get to get uh, this bed so i'm just going back and forth again and as you've noticed uh, there are just enemies that, uh, that come at me and it's it's not so much that you can really clear a level of all the enemies there are they get spawned randomly uh, in in places you can't see so outside of your field of view you're never quite quite certain if you're in danger or not and there's by th by the way there's also key if you hold down uh, the dot or the period button um, you can also rest so you don't have to walk back and forth but the downside is as you've seen um, every step I take takes a turn and you know it, suddenly you get attacked and if you hit the the the, <laughs> the wait button uh, when you get attacked you don't defend yourself and y if you just hold us down for just one second you bam you're pretty much dead because all the enemies get turns while you're not defending so this is why I always walk back and forth okay so let's Let's finish now this level here, and here we come out at this one here. So this was the first uh, uh, dungeon level, which was was really really simple. And as I can see here in the jet, Julian Bonte said, "Plot twist: the dungeon is actually a zoo." Yes, on lower level it is because there's an enemy type for either capital letter, and yeah, and uh, <laughs> sometimes you really have to wonder why they went with certain letters. Oh no, an arrow shot you! Oh my god! This happens when I'm stepped on a trap. Yes, rooms can be trapped and there are also trap doors. And of course you can uh, uh, check a, a tile in the room for uh, any kind of hidden trap. But this is really, really not fun. I, I show you how to do this in a bit. Let's, let's just step off this here and fight at the hobgoblin. Yes, I've defeated the hobgoblin. Let's get some gold pieces here first. And this, this, uh, 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 suit of cards thingy here in red uh, it, is this a club i think it's this club suit anyway it's some food and now i have two rations of food because in this game you can run out of food and when you run out of food you get weak and after you get weak um uh, at first you get hungry then you get weak and if you still haven't eaten when you're weak you start fainting and this is really terrible you can pretty much give it up at that point because you just faint every two steps uh, for a couple of turns and then the enemies if there are any enemies they will just pummel you to death so never go to a dungeon uh, when you're hungry okay so there's another emu okay let's try if i can for once hit it okay let's throw the dagger at it and the dagger hits the emu and the dagger is now gone okay gee the arrow hits the emu and i've defeated the emu without even touching it which is helpful because uh, <laughs> staying true to the whole this is a, a subterranean zoo theme there are rattlesnakes and i thought yeah it's it's a little bit annoying when they bite you it says yeah you feel poison uh, through you running through your veins or something I don't think it's even that descriptive. Oh look, we have already found the stairs down and some food. This is good. 
Uh, but the, the downside the downside is when you get uh, bitten by rattlesnake, it diminishes your strength, and now you can't hit as hard anymore. And sometimes when you're really unlucky, it can uh, yeah eat away on your strength. Just one fight with a stupid rattlesnake that you're pretty much uh, too weak to defend yourself properly. Okay, as you've seen it, uh, oh, there's another snake. So it's just bumping into the enemy and hitting spacebar, and this is pretty much the combat. So it's it's actually not as slow of the game to play as I'm making it out to be, just because I'm explaining a lot. Okay, let's have a look at our inventory. So I have a clear potion, a magenta potion, and a tan potion. Um, what do those do? Well, we could look it up, but, well, actually we can't, because and now this is like another great roguelike, um, like it's in, it's the pills or the cards in the Binding of Isaac. With each new run, um, uh, it gets shuffled. What is a health potion and what hurts you and what's poison, and and so on. So um, usually I, I try to avoid drinking any potions until I have to. Just because I'm a little bit afraid uh, that uh, whatever happens is not beneficial to me. Uh, by the way, the same thing happens with scrolls. Yes, the game even has some kind of scrolls there. Oh god, I'm down to six hit points. You know what? I will just wan wander around. Oh, now uh, probably you've missed it because when you're when you're running around, uh, the the display messages are just there for one turn. But if you hit F4, you can recall here the last message. And I'm starting to get hungry, as indicated here by this helpful hungry indicator, which means let's better eat something and i do this by hitting e like eat and which object do i want to eat well a ration of food yummy that tasted good this is helpful and by the way uh, if you're really playing cl playing attention paying close attention as you've not noticed uh, those things here at the rooms those are doors well duh but uh, there are not much uh, places that i could go to right oh no of course uh sorry i was dumb i completely missed that there are two doors down here because sometimes there are hidden entrances and doors and the game really forces you sometimes that you yeah really have to oh there's another emu oh my god let's hope it doesn't four hp okay let's let's get some back and forth <laughs> oh good okay so i've survived it i'm trying here yeah, just just wasting some turns here getting my health up uh, by the way, um, of course, when I go uh, back and forth for too long, I will grow hungry again. And if I don't have any food on me, well, then I get hungry and weak and start fainting and the game is pretty much over. So, by the way, uh, we've just leveled up to level four, which is good. So we're doing really well here. Just a little bit slow here for my terms, but but this is fine. This is our first big roguelike stream. So what is this here? Now I have two ten potions. Okay, I, I think uh, some potions are more common than others. So I, I th oh I hit the bed and defeated it. This is good. Oh, and there's another bed. Okay, I'm not losing to a freaking bed. Okay, so by the way, if you want to check a tile for a trap, you hit the circumflex button and then the direction in which to check for, like right, and it says no trap here, and then you can check each tile as you move around and as you've noticed traps are pretty uh, uh, wide and far between so this is why I usually don't check for traps ever I mean I can hear I found an arrow trap yeah of course now now I know this is why I don't check for traps uh, but maybe this is why I didn't get far in this game anyway so let's advance to the next level by hitting the uh, greater than sign bam and I've stepped down Ooh, an eye this is a new enemy we haven't seen before this is the ice monster okay so let's attack the ice monster the good thing is sometimes uh, you encounter enemies that are resting or not or sleeping or some way unaware of you and uh, most often those are happens with the ice monsters so um, the ice monster now freezes me but this is not a big concern here because when I'm frozen I'm just unable to move for a couple of turns and the game thankfully skips those turns until I'm able to move again when there are no other enemies around. If there are any other enemies around, well, they will pummel me to death until I can move again. So, but right now this is not too bad. So I finished it off and look at this, all already got 320 pieces of gold. This is good. Okay, we're not 
doing too bad so let's 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 step up and oh this is great but now here we have an orc the big o okay so let's see if i'm surviving this year yes i did and we found some more potions a gold potion and two clear potions and what is this well this is a ring i have a circon ring what does it do well who knows i would need an <laughs> identification scroll because in this game there is no deckard cane uh, to which we can bring all our junk and listen to his boring stories while he I identifies all all our magic stuff so i can put on a ring like i could put on a piece of armor but when it's cursed well then i'm stuck with it i can't take it off until i have uh, a, a reader scroll that uncurses me okay so you know what uh, let's let's quench some potions there oh look look at this this is a dark room so i only know what's in this room by moving around and sometimes this is really bad because in this game there are some kind of treasure rooms which means there's a lot of treasure to find but also a lot of enemies is uh, those are randomly generated and especially on lower levels experience points uh, wise yeah it, it's 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 not very pleasant and you're soon dead and it feels a little bit unfair okay the snake you know what this is this is a nice place here let's quench some potions i hit q now oh uh, not quench this is the wrong word of course i'm quaffing my potions so let's try one of those two clear potions you feel stronger now what bulging muscles oh look at this my strength went up by one this is good because when i'm maxed out on strength when i have 17 of 17 and i drink one of those potions i get yeah one additional so let's let's drink this again oh this was the wrong quelch and no sorry wrong oh there c a potion of gain strength because uh in cases when i've been bitten by rattlesnake and my strength is like 11 out of 17 and i drink this potion then it's 12 out of 17 and pretty much i wasted a, a very very helpful potion okay so let's have a look at the others a magenta potion mm, what does this do well i have no idea it doesn't say anything so we probably have to identify it okay i got a gold potion this tastes great it makes you feel warm all over what do you want to call it haha <laughs> i know this one this is regain strength there we go regain strength mean uh, means uh, w w exactly that if, if a rattlesnake bit you and you're at down at strength i don't know 11 out of 18 and you and you uh, drink this one you're back at 18 out of 18 so this is also very helpful and let's cross our fingers that one of the 10 potions is not a potion that blinds me you begin to feel much better oh this is a we've only had good potions so far this was a, a regain health potion so ah, very good very good because uh, there's one potion that blinds you and then you can only see the tile that you're standing on and yeah the, the game gets really tedious and you also don't know what enemies uh, are attacking you it just uh, reads uh, the status message which i find uh, really funny so it just reads something hit you and you have defeated something so you don't even know what's attacking you okay we got a new enemy this is a k and of course <laughs> still <laughs> keeping uh, with the topic this is a kestrel a kind of bird i assume the kestrel barely misses you okay so good so far okay now look at this here here we have some kind of cave that would ass i'm assuming this leads here to this one to this room here but there's no entrance here and you know what we can do we can search for for something for some hidden uh, uh, entries you do this by hitting the delete key and then uh, the the direction which you want to check and you do this repeatedly like so because there's a subtle chance or sometimes now there, there we go you see this <laughs> suddenly there the wall opens up and there's a hidden passage uh it took me quite a while to find out that this worked and sometimes i thought yeah the, the dungeon uh, uh generating mechanism was completely broken because i felt i was trapped in a in a labyrinth and there was no stairwell that led it down so yeah i, I cursed i cursed so we're here at level four with another ice monster so haha -ha, got the better of you okay so 
Let's keep continuing in this direction. Okay, there's nothing much here. We're at level four and experience level five. We're doing really well. The furthest I got in this game, I think was level 12 or level 11. And uh, either I was squashed by a troll or a Yeti. Uh, from what I've read there, are, oh, look at this. The bat is not aware of us, but oh my God, we've been ambushed by an orc. Oh, this is so thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I'm laughing. I just realized that I'm talking about text ASCII characters. But okay, I defeated the orc and the bat is still unaware of us. You know what? Let's fire an arrow or just throw an arrow. And it hit the bat. Let's do this again. And we defeated the bat. This is good. Oh, hungry again. Okay, then let's eat some food. Yuck, this food tastes awful. I haven't quite figured out why some food tastes awful and others doesn't maybe it's just flavor okay so new room and new item so this one here the gold pieces make sense so let's lead here the snake into this cave here and oh lucky hit and this one here this this block with a what's it a dot in the middle this is some kind of armor and it is I have now ring mail so let's put it on when I want to wear something I just hit the W key but the game will tell me um, oh sorry this the lower <laughs> lower case uh, uh, W key is for wielding a weapon right now we just have a mace and the mace is pretty good as far as I figured out is uh, that the plus one the first plus one uh, is how strong you hit and the second one is uh, the chance of, of you hitting something so uh, I, I think that's that's what it is I quite haven't figured it out but usually it's it doesn't matter anyway because sometimes you're just lucky that you <laughs> survive something okay let's take off now um, sorry I'm, I'm not I don't want to wield anything so okay uppercase T means uh, to take something off I used to be wearing a plus one ring mail okay now let's and as, as as you've seen my armor decreased here now let's uppercase w something and what do i want well the ring mail we just found you're now wearing a plus zero ring mail you know what let's drop this ring mail so i have to take it off again okay i hit enter which was an illegal command so <laughs> i'm lowercase d to drop something oh my god this is so clunky this is incredibly clunky and i'm going to drop now my d here the ring mail armor class 4 d and put on the other ring mail we've had which is uppercase w to wear and it's this one here so very simple very easy very straightforward this is great so let's finish this level here oh it's another dark room and apparently I <laughs> inadvertently killed a bat. Oh, shiny gold pieces. So I'm just hugging the walls here. Maybe get the mouse cursor out of the way. Hugging the walls here and see if there's anything in between. No, not even a trap. This is good. What what happened here? Oh, I have picked up the ring mail again. Oh, this is... Let's drop it again. Okay. By the way, your inventory size is limited, so sometimes you just have to drop something or try out potions and scrolls. By the way, I'm oh this R, this is a rattlesnake. So <laughs> I'm trying to fight it now, but but keep a close eye here on my strength at, at how well or how bad I'm doing. Oh my god, I one hit kill. This was amazing. Maybe maybe we're lucky today and we will make it down below to level I think it's level 24 or 22 where you will find the big MacGuffin of this game the armulet of Yendor which once you get it you have to make your all your way back up to the surface and by the way those procedurally generated dungeons for each level here they uh, don't stay so if you make your way up again you're not uh, uh, going through the same dungeons again you're getting a new set of randomly generated dungeons so i've heard stories of uh, uh, adventurers who managed to get this amulet of yendor and then perished on their way back up so here is another potion now this time it's an orange potion i'm not going to quaff it but here this little note symbol here this is a scroll and it's a scroll titled ban ban elgar clis ud by the way those are also randomly generated titles just made from syllables um, if if you've played diablo they certainly improved upon this 
uh, with with their uh, champion enemy namings like like Murk the Gurk or or something like this. Okay, so let's keep keep harvesting this level here. But I think I've seen everything there is, so let's make our way to the staircase. So I'm taking here now this room here, uh, this, this uh, hallway now to the left, and we'll probably have to break through this wall here. As you've probably noticed, the layout of each dungeon is pretty much like a 3x3 three three board, where some rooms can have connections or don't have connections, or but uh, in the end, there are never more than nine rooms. And when you're um, in an, a hallway that just stops right here, then you know, uh, chances are pretty s slim that there is going to be a room. So don't waste your time just trying to find a passage like I did here. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a sip of water now and read the chat because uh, there's a lot going on. So thank you very much for interacting and still watching. Uh, I can see that there are 14 people still watching now. Apparently I've only scared away one of you, which is great. So cheers. <coughs> and have a look at the chat. So procedurally generated roguelike survival game and made years before it was cool. Yes, absolutely. Bad people thought it was pretty cool back in 83 as well. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard stories and uh, I read a book on this whole history of roguelikes. This was, was what got me interested in it in the first place. And even the people uh, who, who were working on it, um, they were just uh, hooked. And also their testers and everyone was really hooked because uh, you've either had uh, uh, games like Wizardry back then, which was also this dungeon hack and slay, but it was very bare bones. Or you had some very early proto text adventures like yeah, the original adventure. But once you've learned how, how to do this, um, then it was pretty much always the, the, the same direction or the, the same set of moves uh, led to success. And this is what the creators of Rogue really wanted to do, what to, to make something that you can't beat with a walkthrough. Okay, quaffing a potion may quench your thirst. <laughs> this is correct, thank you. Hey Phil, uh, when are we going to have another documentary? Oh yes, yes, um, I'm, I've started and pretty much finished the first draft on the script of my experience for Ludum Dare 42. For those who don't know, but I think it's 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 uh, it uh, the, the the knowledge of it has traveled quite far, that I didn't finish a game for Ludum Dara 42. I really tried to, but I was having a hard time, and uh, it, uh, nothing was coming together, and I really hated it. And and after 24 hours, yeah, I, I just gave up. And but I will still make a documentary about it, uh, about how everything led to this point and my learnings from this. And yeah, this is why right now um, I'm pretty much uh, trying to start over with my game making tools. And uh, but, but yeah, but this is this will all be touched on in the documentary. Like that, you can often find the staircase very close to the entrance. Yeah, it's it's like in Diablo. <laughs> I don't know why. But I think, yeah, this is this is uh, the algorithm. I mean, back then this game was developed on a system. I think it had 69, uh, 96 kilobytes of, of RAM. And this was a, a big mainframe back then. I mean, th this is incredible. I, I think that the whole DOS game executable has like 50 kilobytes or something. It's, it's really crazy. And this was all you could work with. And I, I think this is why it's, it's relative bare bones, but, but for that it's, it's pretty sophisticated. Can wait for the LD41 documentary as well. Yes, of course, the LD41, uh, the Zocker documentary. This will be uh, not too long, uh, but uh, it will be a traditional, uh, uh, yeah, little documentary, nothing special here. But since I haven't started on the script with the LD41, well, who knows where th it will take me. Oh, which book was it? Uh, I think it was, oh my God, it was called how net hack or, or dungeon hacks inspired all the making of of other games uh, i think the author was david craddock mm, <laughs> I, I think <laughs> or braddock or something uh man you know what i, c I could really look it up now I, I have it still there on my kindle and uh, this was a really great story not only about uh, how rogue came to be but also about the development of net hack and moria and what's the other Tolkien inspired game? So yeah, th this was this was really interesting. Okay, there we, there we have it. The game is called Dungeon Hex. 
and the A in hex is an add symbol because in roguelikes, uh, most roguelikes, not this DOS version here, it's common that uh, the player character is an add symbol because this is where you're at. Okay, and uh, finishing up now your comments. I can wait any weird drinks today. No, right now I'm just drinking water. Maybe maybe if, if I'm doing more streams in the future, maybe then I will have something weird to, to drink. This game reminds me of an old NES favorite, Swords and Serpents. Love it. Oh, Drew Maps. I have Swords and Serpents. This certainly rings a bell, but I don't think I've played. But um, it must be inspired by Rogue because a lot of games were inspired by Rogue and just forked it in a way like NetHack did. And I mean, even today you, you got uh, uh, games like Dwarf Fortress uh, who got this whole uh, appeal of procedural generation, but that they are not limited by any kind of memory or CPU constraints anymore. And it, it is just crazy. I mean, the amount of detail and procedural generation from Dwarf Fortress. If you're interested in what you can do procedurally, oh my God, I've been attacked by a zombie, but I've managed to finish it. Oh good yeah uh, by the way to finish my sentence i think there are just some gdc talks from the creators of 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 dwarf fortress and those are really really enlightening it's just it's just amazing what you can do with uh, if you're spending years just honing and fine-tuning your, your procedural generation algorithms okay so let's continue here again the staircase is pretty close by which gives us some nice way of adventuring because we always know where to go back I've found another scroll by the way the only way uh, to to f to know what those scrolls are again is by trying them out and the only scroll that you know what it is right away if you find it is the identification scroll which is yeah it makes sense and is helpful okay I killed another snake a strange mist envelops you and you fall asleep you can move again okay I just skipped a, a couple of terms because I stepped onto a poison gas or sleeping gas trap Thankfully, there was no enemy around that that harmed us, so this is good. Okay, I'm just trying now all the directions to search all the directions. Oh, there we go. And got two scrolls now. Ban, ban, elga, kliz, ud. Which is good. Okay. Fine, good. Okay, let's, let's keep on adventuring. Uh, and this game is like with any good roguelike you can even have it here you you feel that things are going really well and then you happen to stumble upon an enemy and it just yeah two hits and you're dead and you think oh my god so many hours so many hours go into there by the way you can't really save scum with this game but i think with the dos version you could but in the old unix days you couldn't because it was uh, the game was saved but you have to have admin uh, privileges to change it so pretty much you couldn't yeah saves come by the way in this game you can save it's i think it's uppercase s so let's call it uh, stream and then look at this <laughs> i got here my dos prompt again so i'm so this is like this so but if you want to pick up this is very helpful just say rogue and stream dot save uh, no okay just just stream this is good so and we can pick up where we were which which i find pretty pretty interesting pretty pretty nice that i mean it's all text characters right so you're pretty much playing this literally in your console okay level six Oh, good. We found some more food rations. Like I said, you don't want want to run out of food. You you really don't. Okay, as you've noticed, uh, the longer you play it, uh, you you just start moving pretty pretty fast into the direction where you want to go, and you kite enemies like this zombie here. Probably have noticed me has noticed me, so I'm just blindly firing an arrow into um, the hallway. Where is my arrow? It's a J. And I hit the zombie and now that I can see it I can finish it off this is good so we are at 744 gold pieces I don't think we've made it into the top 10 yes I've played it a lot and and uh, maxed out all the top 10s and when we're dead you will see all the stupid names I had for my characters here in in the top 10s okay another dark room with some more food this is very helpful Good. I swing and hit the bat, and I've defeated the bat. Okay, so uh, r running around is really dangerous, especially in dark rooms. But I'm feeling very confident about myself, so let's not get hung up on this. 
what did I pick up? Studded leather armor. Okay, you want to reserve some leather armor, you have some uh, inventory space for leather armor, because there's this nasty enemy, which is called an Aquator. And when it hits you, it doesn't do any damage on you, and uh, or at least no hit points uh, get deducted. And at first I thought, yeah, this little sucker is really hard to hit, but it doesn't do any damage, which is good. But then I looked closely what happens, and each time the Aquator hits you, your armor gets diminished by one. And I think this even gets sometimes down to zero. So it's pretty much just negating any armor you have. Uh, and the, 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 <laughs> the really terrible part is this is permanent. You can throw your armor away. So this is why you should have at least two, two sets of armor ready. And by the way, if you go further down. Oh, look, look at this. I was very lucky finding this passage here with my first attempt. If, if you're uh, further down, there are W, big W letters, and those are wraiths. And they are even worse than rattlesnakes <laughs> and, and, and aquators combined, because sometimes when they hit you, they take away one experience level, again, permanently. And suddenly you get three hits from them, and suddenly you're back at experience level like four or three and then you're pretty much dead with the next enemy because you don't have enough hit points anymore so this is really uh, uh, why you should just try to avoid them if you can on the other hand i mean hey they give you some experience points so this is this is good okay so finishing off now here the emu again <laughs> it's a big big zoo okay good next level level seven what was this? I'm getting hungry again, so let's eat a ration of food. Yuck, this food tastes awful. Maybe it's, it's because I need to wait a little bit longer to eat the food. No. What was this? Another trap? What kind of trap was this? A bear trap. Oh, yes, a bear trap. Uh, I, I think you don't lose any hit points, which is helpful, but you're just stuck. And it's really a random uh, when you... Uh, it, it, the direction in which to get out is random with every turn. You just have to hit right or up until you get out, I think. Okay, another rattlesnake. Maybe this time it will it will uh, hit me. Rattlesnake hit you. You feel a bite in your leg and now feel weaker. Yeah, this is pretty much on the nose. So, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Walked in the bear trap again. Okay, so my hit points re regaining. Good, okay. Oh, looks like a treasure room. This is nice. Oh, and there's a plane passing by outside. So if you hear something rumbling, don't worry. It's just a plane. I'm living close to an airport. <coughs> I mean, Salzburg is pretty, pretty small. So everyone's <laughs> living close to the airport. Okay, I have a brown potion. I don't think I feel like drinking a brown potion. Thank you very much. Oh, and another ring, an emerald ring. Uh, it's, it's really strange that we haven't found some kind of, of identification scroll so far. This is a strange run. Oh my god, a C. This is a centaur. And it's... Oh, uh, good, good. Okay, I'm, I'm not messing with this centaur here. It hasn't seen me, which is good. Because centaurs, I'm, I mean, uh, I'm at level 7, but still I'm just wielding the, the weapon from the starting weapon. And they, they pretty much hit hard. So you don't want to engage in any combat with centaurs if you can avoid it okay there was a snake behind me have you seen it i certainly did so let's throw an arrow and it hit the snake and i've defeated it this is good uh, by the way sometimes even later uh, enemies some enemies uh, may drop an item like a potion or gold there are also some special enemies uh, which uh, yeah drop an item like i think some kind of sirens was it a siren uh, i don't know but when when you kill them they either drop a, a potion or a scroll but when they hit you even once they disappear and take one of your scrolls away which is bad oh and there's of course the good old leprechaun if it hits you it takes a certain money from away from you which I mean it doesn't hurt you but if you're going for the high score it certainly does because it's not like taking 50 or 40 gold but sometimes it takes like 200 or 500 gold and this really hurts but if you manage to somehow uh, dispose of dispose of this is a harsh word somehow uh, uh, yeah just defeat the leprechaun 
it will drop some some gold but sometimes it's just like two gold pieces so most of the time it's it's not worth your time so if uh, again here look at this another centaur so what is this i have another scroll you know what let's try out our scrolls r which object do you want to read well let's read the first scroll b you read the scroll it vanishes your maze glow you glows blue for a moment oh this is good it's enchant weapon by the way don't ever try to enchant the same weapon twice because the second time you do is it will just uh, uh, f uh yeah it destroy itself this is not bad uh, not good <laughs> okay so now let's get as far away as we can from the centaur like so and throw some arrows at it the arrow hits the centaur okay misses hits misses 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 hits and i've defeated the centaur so let's pick up all of our arrows there and we've got another scroll here and another arrow of <laughs> all the arrows that missed our ca target but i find it really great that uh, i mean even with the primitive uh, 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 programming uh, uh, environments and, and a system you had really to work with they, they managed to to squeeze such a lot into this little game here it's, it's really amazing okay i got hit quite a lot <laughs> but but let's let's just go back and forth here in this hallway and regain some of our hit points for the next level you always want really want to start a new level with hit points because like i said you don't know where oh my god i ran into the centaur and there's a rattlesnake behind me okay Oof, okay I, I need now to take a sip of water and think this over okay what can we do well we could run but then we will take a hit from the center and the rattlesnake but i think this is what i will do because then i can hide here uh, in this hallway here and and use the door as a funnel so so let's do this and by the way that i'm not bumping into the rattlesnake i will try to step to the left uh, to the right and down by hitting the page down key like so oh my god and there's an orc also oh this is bad ah you know what i could have done i could have made a run for for the exit here but now i really have yeah oh, damn it you know what let's try to engage the centaur first okay i miss it the orc misses me the rattlesnake misses me the centaur hit me oh god we're surrounded by idiots this is helpful but i don't hit the centaur but the orc doesn't and the rattlesnake diminishes my strength oh my god i'm down to 18 hit points people ah i think we won't survive this i'm just trying to whack away at the centaur but oh my god hits too you know what it's time now uh, uh for for some blind luck you know what let's read one of the scrolls that are not identified we could read this scroll here with a lot of k's and v's or this one here you know what i'm going to read the second scroll here maybe it's a teleportation scroll please be a teleportation scroll what do you want to call i don't know fuck it doesn't help okay i've hit the centaur i defeated the centaur okay but i'm still at two oh you know what <laughs> you know what i still got a potion so let's quaff potion of extra healing f and it heals all my hit points oh my god i should have thought of this uh, this before this was intense oh what happened now oh good okay okay i just hit all my windows here on the desktop but but okay bag and dos box were good okay i don't know what happened here but those two enemies here are stuck and i don't feel like engaging them anymore so i'm just i'm just yeah <laughs> stepping down and look at this there's the stairwell there to the next level i mean of course you can just run for the stairs each time but then you won't uh, upgrade your experience level <coughs> and uh, you make things just harder on yourself because then you have to evade pretty much all the enemies and sometimes it's just impossible and you meet a fast and gruesome death i found a vermilion potion well that certainly sounds much nicer than the brown potion oh my god this is an a this is an equator <laughs> and you know what this means we're here uh, <laughs> alone eight levels below the surface in a dark dungeon and there's a strange enemy before us 
and another plane taking off but let's not busy ourselves with waiting okay well let's wait the, till the plane is over I just want to paint a picture yes we are this strong rogue hero there and there's this enemy and what are we going to do well we're going to strip now <laughs> I take off uh, I take off my armor it weakens but I've taken it off so now that this equator can't hurt me so I'm just trying trying to hit it okay good good and the ice monster oh my god I, wa I was lucky there with the ice monster <laughs> so I can I can take uh, uh, I can wear my armor back okay I you, you see there now it's a just a plus zero ring uh, mail armor so yeah this was permanent this is sad but at least we've made it out alive and this is all you can ask for when you're playing a roguelike weak to ma nakedness apparently apparently yeah just just strip naked in front of a strange strange monster there and it will work out for you <coughs> okay rattlesnake and another equator okay let's go after the rattlesnake and again <laughs> take off our armor and and you can't hurt me anymore you pervert okay let's wear our you know what i'm going to wear my studded leather armor now it's just an armor of four but it's still better than nothing and in case we run into one into one of those uh, dungeon uh, uh, dwellers that want to see me naked it's it's should be better always wear leather when you're visiting a dungeon oh my god <laughs> this came out wrong <laughs> okay let's find the zombie uh, fight the zombie this, this is good and some more some more gold pieces yes we've already made it past the 1000 pieces of gold oh there's so much shininess going on right now i'm expecting to to step onto a trap door and land in a new level this is why i always go the first time for the I, I see something glittering in the darkness such as some some potion or a staff i go straight at it because you never know if you manage to get back what was this a dart just hit you on the shoulder and other trap a poison dart trap so poison i think also diminishes your strength so this is really really nasty okay uh, three rations of food at least we didn't grow hungry but by the way if you're uh, wearing a, a ring maybe we should try wearing a ring you get uh, hungry much faster apparently because rings make you hungry another dark room okay but i'm assuming there is somewhere a hidden passage for this hallway there so let's try and find there it is there it is by the way each time you you uh look at yeah hidden hidden passages you also waste one turn or you use up one turn and this means that you also uh yeah need food for this you know what let's eat something while well, still got it it tastes awful but never mind okay we're now at level nine this is going very well i should stream playing this game more often but then oh my god oh my god it it even makes my studded leather armor weaker okay never mind i what was this a vermilion potion okay you know what oh this is this is nice we got some food this is a really really helpful room here uh, okay there's a snake but but this is this is okay good good okay so i'm assuming there's a room yes there was a room oh man this is this is this game is is uh, there's quite a lot to it i mean it's like i frankly when i first played the game i wasn't ex oh my god this is a q <laughs> and it's a quagga i had to look it up what a freaking quagga was and it's some kind of extinct zebra so apparently this was the only letter or the only monster they came up uh, that, that fit the q uh, and i will flee now because this one really hits hard i don't know why but a quagga really hits hard so let's try to engage the quagga it misses me but i missed it also i missed it and it scored an excellent hit on me maybe we should have changed the armor okay i'm just oh god now it's a quagga and a zombie oh god oh god okay i hit the zombie now but the quagga scored an excellent hit okay crap <laughs> oh okay what what should we do I'm down to nine hit points. 
and maybe maybe with another hit from the quagga i'm i'm dead so i'm just making a run for it like so and hope that i can get as many hit points as possible hopefully not running into any enemy there while i'm just getting more hit points that i can attack the quagga again i swing and hit the quagga and have defeated the quagga and you know what i got four rations of food now some yummy quagga steak oh <coughs> this was a close one uh, okay so going back and forth there's a zombie but it's at least i'm good against zombies i'm really surprised by the way that we there's a hobgoblin well never mind oh <laughs> no another quagga oh this time we were we were a little bit more lucky uh, what surprises me is that we haven't found some kind of better weapon we just found one dagger which i uh, threw at another enemy and that was our dagger okay so there's a zombie let's hit the zombie okay i have a circon ring another circon ring i really want the scroll of identification i, I really really want okay let's go into this room here oh money 16 pieces of gold well that's pretty stingy of the game but but good okay <laughs> i'm a little bit uh, nervous now because I, I didn't think we were making it uh, this far and that we were going to start the game over like 10 or more times until i really got this far but apparently uh this is a lucky run so let's see how far we can we can get i hope i'm not dying here because i'm taking a lot of hits okay so just just commuting back and forth here okay let's let's just try and see what's going on in this direction here another trap why there are so many traps who puts those traps there another ice monster okay good good took care of the ice monster then maybe maybe i should put on my my good armor but on the other hand yeah let's let's just keep as it is i have a crossbow now well that's not very helpful because for crossbows you need uh, to find also bolts for your crossbows and then again um, you need once you have crossbow equipped you need to throw your your arrows or bolts and this yeah it's 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 clunky <laughs> and as you've noticed by 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 this time right now this is a overall very clunky game okay so there are two cul de sacs i think that's the right term which sucks aha uh -huh. okay let's see if there's one more room here on this side no but i've grown hungry again no i don't want to quaff something no i don't want to quaff it i want to eat something ration of food yum quagga steak okay we're here in level 10 with a centaur and you know what we're lucky because right now i have a lot of uh, of room between us so while i can just throw arrows like there is no tomorrow at this centaur i just hope that i can take it out before it reaches me <laughs> well crap oh god look look at this look at this mess so many so many arrows oh. okay let's let's see how far i can make it with this life and then i think i will call it a day damn it another rattlesnake but at least we found the exit to the next room an aquador oh no oh no okay maybe maybe i keep i keep my what armor am i wearing minus two studded leather armor <laughs> being worn this is this is bad but but maybe I, I let's just hope we won't come across a troll and if we do we just make a beeline and for for the next level down but on the other hand we want loot we want treasure this is a roguelike after all and it's all about the treasure oh there's another ring a diamond ring uh, i wish it the 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 worth of the jewels or the gemstones oh, damn it bear trap again of the of the rings would hint at what they are good for or not oh we got plate mail you know what let's put on the plate mail m plus zero plate mail armor class eight this is good let's just hope not running across another aquator 
but right now I, f I like I said I'm, I'm really feeling lucky today is there another room or it's just dead end no we broke through ah uh, this is an ice monster okay scroll titled Mia Kostbahn and oh I can't carry anything else this is what happens to me in all games, most uh, uh, notably the Skyrim and the Fallout games or any Bethesda games. You're over encumbered and cannot run. And also in this game. The, the, the bad thing is you don't know what this is, if you would need it or not, because it doesn't tell you. It just says you can't carry anything more. Okay, let's quaff some more potions. What's the orange potion? You can't move. But now I can move again. Okay, don't quaff the orange potion in the middle of a battle noted <laughs> what's the brown potion a cloak oh no oh no oh <laughs> ah, this is the potion that blinds you i had a bad feeling ab about drinking a brown potion but ah uh, yeah ah uh, good okay i have a silver potion now okay let's let's cross our fingers and hope now <laughs> That one of those potions that we're still got is one that lifts this wheel of darkness. Okay, so let's try the vermilion potion. Wait, what's going on? Huh? What? Who? Okay, so this means I'm disoriented for a couple of turns and it doesn't matter in what direction I point. I'm just hitting now the up arrow. I'm just moving around uh, randomly. Okay, so we don't want to drink this. Okay, cross your fingers for the silver potion. The wheel of darkness lifts. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. We're we're so lucky. We're so lucky. Oh, this is incredible. Okay. An aquator. Oh no. Oh no. Turn. <laughs> Take off my armor. That's a minus 2 plate mail. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> well, could have been worse. Could have been much worse. It's a quagga. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And I'm standing there naked, but naked in front of a quagga. And it hits me. Okay, now, okay, so I will have to take a hit while in front of an extinct uh, zebra. I'm taking on now my plate mail. My minus two plate mail, nonetheless. The quagga has injured me, but now I'm wearing a mail. And it hit me again. Oh, come on, come on. Hit points 11. No, eight. Eight hit points. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just uh, commute back and forth here and uh, to get my hit point up. Oh no, it's a centaur. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I felt I felt overconfident and just engaged this centaur and well. So much so. Yeah, this is <laughs> crap. This is your roguelike, right? Uh, you had everything going for you. You had pretty great loot. You had some great uh, potions and some scrolls still left. And and then the stupid centaur just hit you and, and it's over. So rest in peace, rogue killed by a centaur. I got 1,562 pieces of gold of or aurum because we're being fancy pants. And it says here 1983, probably because the date in my DOS box isn't properly set up and it resets to the game's uh, publishing date, which was 1983. So this is an old game. And look at this, there are some, some, some S key flowers there. It could, it could have been nicer. Let's, let's, let's face it, could have been nicer. Okay, and let's see now the stupid names <laughs> I had for my characters and yeah. We're not in the top 10. We didn't make it. Here, fill the stumped. I, uh, as you've noticed, uh, I fill the eager, fill the rogue. I Usually I named my new characters after what killed me the last time. When I, uh, last time I was just completely stumped by one enemy. I didn't know what it did. I didn't even quite recall the letter. I think it was a troll or a yeti and it just killed me. And so I was stumped, fill the stump for the next run or feel the eager because I was just too eager to get my gold and then yeah and look at this I was killed by a troll on level 16 oh I made it that far this this really hurt 
And by the way, this this letter here, I, I just hit enter. Oh, feel the satiated. This was <laughs> so apparently I had a, a run with a lot uh, of of food drops, but but then a troll killed me on level twelve. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, uh, <coughs> that's it for my first attempted stream. Thank you all so much for watching and and staying tuned. It's like fifteen or sixteen people were watching right now. Like I said, it's half a high school class, which is a raise my glass to this. Uh, it's just water, but still, thank you so much. Um, let me know in the comments of, of what you thought about this. I, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties, but at least I managed to to figure it out what went wrong within seven minutes, uh, which calls for a nice round of applause. Thank you, thank you, Phil, thank you. Oh, there was just one interesting thing about Rogue that I wanted to show you, which is uh, you could play this game at work, of course. And where is it? There it is, the supervisor key, fake DOS. So if you just uh, hear your boss coming around while you're playing this, you just hit exclamation mark and you're here in a fake DOS and you can s s do stuff like no does it work no no it doesn't do anything yeah it just looks like DOS this is huh I thought this, there was more more to it but <laughs> yeah this is uh, if you're playing this game today I mean this one is so archaic it I mean it almost if you if it just hit f1 it almost looks like some kind of, of spreadsheet software anyway so uh if you've uh, found uh, 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 this game to your liking and want to play it yourself let's just have a look at yeah the game here look the pdf uh, of of the game uh, <laughs> is uh 372000 bytes and the game itself the exe file is is not even 100 kilobytes so <laughs> and the save file here is is like 460 bytes or i think this is even no this is not even the save file this is just the hall of fame guildmasters hall of fame so uh, if you want to get this game and play it for yourself as you can see it works perfectly fine in dosbox you can get it i think at archive.org or at dos abandonware or somewhere like like i said it's 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 really fun and really easy to get into and this is i also try to play moria Let's just show it you uh, quickly. No, that's Monkey Island, Moria. And this also started <coughs> out uh, uh, as an yeah, inspiration. It well, took its inspiration from uh, uh, Rogue, but this is much more advanced because I think this one there was, was written in, in proper C. And now we have to choose the race. And this is a lot uh, more involved. You can choose a sex here and uh, even my character background and role and this is uh, for, for me personally there's just too much involved there uh for for a s little dungeon hack i just want to hit yeah my, my rogue is called fill the satiated and off we go i don't want really to have a lot of character backstory just hit escape to accept and now let's choose a class there and oh my god my name is fill the board already and now here we are in the town and let's let's get down to the dungeon you enter maze of down staircases and it takes a while i think to create now here the dungeon map and there's just a lot more to moria and in my uh, 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 opinion i i just it, it's just too much I, I really I, I don't know my way around there's just uh, you, you can see here i got the whole set of strength intelligence wisdom dexterity and so on and so forth and uh, i think in moria uh, there's there's this uh, uh my god i'm not even uh, not even recalling my tolkien i think it's this it's not this behemoth what's it called the big fiery demon no shall not pass you know this one here this is the, the the final enemy in this level here and i think it goes down to i think 30 or 40 or, or even 60 was it even 60 levels down below and there's just so much more to this and for large white snake and frankly i don't know how to play this game i really tried i did my best uh, but it was just it was just too much and as you've noticed here the game scrolls 
So with the other game, it's just it's just a four by four, uh, a three by three grid, and here you just it's it scrolls with you, and you don't even know where you are. And I think I didn't light my lamp properly or my torch, and yeah, the help is a little bit more involved also. So yeah, <laughs> this is also Moria. And for me personally, I really like the simplicity of Rogue because yeah, you just name your character and you start it and and then you you're in the run already and can hack away and with other games and rpgs this is my personal taste sometimes it's just too much you spend an hour at the character creator and i played wasteland uh, uh the, the new wasteland uh and it it felt too old school for me because i had this whole bunch like half a page of 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 values and uh, where i could distribute my points on and i had no idea what to do and i thought yeah maybe just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and without playing the game you don't know what's important and for all my rangers and i spent like yeah more than half an hour getting my party uh, together and uh, pretty much customizing everyone and then i played the game and it, it was just i was getting my ass kicked from pretty much everyone i couldn't uh, pick any locks or nothing and i thought okay i really have to maximize the stats and some stats were useless yeah the point is i really like the simplicity of of rogue and some games uh, took it to heart and like i said diablo is pretty much an offshoot of rogue in a sense that yeah you just pick your class your interest trim and you're pretty much in there and the 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 exploring and the looting and the fighting in Diablo is as much fun the the, the second to second gameplay loop as, as it is in Rogue and sometimes like I said if, if a game is too complex for me I just feel overwhelmed and don't have have a lot of fun with it okay Balrog thank you very much it's not the behemoth it's the Balrog <laughs> I should check uh, the, the chat more often so again thank you very much uh, I've, I've been talking way too long now i just wanted uh, to make this one hour and now it's one hour and 20 minutes so let me know if this was interesting to you maybe we should do it again maybe with some other stupid little old dos game uh, maybe maybe add some bells and whistles but i don't know what apart from maybe adding sound <laughs> But it was good that at least it worked out now that you saw everything and could hear me and stuff. So again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great evening. And yeah, if there's anything new in terms of uh, Ludum Dana documentaries and stuff for me, uh, I will write it on Twitter or on Patreon or maybe even post an update video on YouTube. Either way, I think you will, I, I let you know in some way or another. Again, thank you for watching and take care.